I think poultry farming is a good business for me to start because I've seen very many people who have ventured into the business are really succeeding. But my mind is also with the crop farming a lot. I think I should start with the crop farming. I really don't know which one I should go with. Ah, my mind is now bursting, guys. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys which of these two you should go with. Should you go for the poultry birds or for the crop farming? So guys, get ready for the video. Well, my name is Jacob, a passionate farmer about poultry keeping. On this channel, we talk about poultry farming in general. Anything connected with poultry, you will find it on this channel. So if you don't want to miss any uploads, of course about poultry, then click that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, that way you'll never miss out in case I upload any new video on the channel. And guys, if you have a friend or a relative who may also like this poultry thing, there is that share button right over there. Click that share button and then share this video to them. That way it will help them so much in making up their minds on which business they should start with. Thanks for doing that. Like I said earlier, there are very many people out there who want to start businesses. Yeah, they want to start businesses and there are very many businesses over their eyes. They are looking at this. It seems that if I start this one, it will work. On the other side, they will again look at a different business. And then they will try to change on their minds, causing a lot of conflict into their minds on which business they should start with. But in this particular video, we are going to be talking about crop farming versus poultry keeping. Which one is the better, guys? When it comes to crop farming, there are very many crops that you can grow. Very many. We are talking about commercial farming, commercial crop farming. Like I was saying, there are very many types of crops. We have the maize, the sorghum, the beans. There are very many, guys. Very many of them out there. And when it comes to poultry birds, there are also type of birds. We have the local birds, which I'm currently keeping on my poultry farm over here. We have the broilers, which are kept for meat. Yeah. We have the layers, which are kept for eggs. So there are also types of birds or poultry birds, even the ducks, the geese, the guinea fowls. But we are out of that line a bit. We are talking about the chicken, guys the chicken much as they are all in the poultry birds but we are going to be zeroing down to the chicken so the broilers layers the local chicken versus the maize the sorghum the beans whatever crop that you know in your area starting with crop farming guys when it comes to crop farming this business needs a lot of land huge acres of land yeah the business needs huge acres of land because the business will be carried on land, not in the water, no. The business will be carried on the land, so you need enough land. And if you don't have land, then you need to buy or you need to actually rent the land. So that's one thing with the crop farming. And then on the other side, with the chicken farming, this business doesn't need as big land as it would be in the crop farming yeah with just one acre of land you can keep over 10,000 birds guys over 10,000 birds and they will be just fine that is number one number two is the initial cost guys yeah the starting cost in these businesses these are all different like for instance in crop farming you may need to actually Clear the land. Yeah, you need to clear the land. That is number one. Meaning that you will need at least some machineries for you to clear the land. Because there will be lots of trees, guys. Lots of trees. And you must clear all these trees before planting. And then in the poultry business, I think there is nothing much like clearing land. Because you will just clear the small area where you are going to be constructing your poultry structure so 
it is less cost effective when it comes to the clearing of the land for your business yeah that is number two guys the next one which is very very important is the market yeah the market of the products let's first start with the poultry products the poultry products it is very easy to market them guys very easy number one guys people eat every day yeah people do it every day and then people love eating chicken like nothing they eat chicken every day meaning that there won't be any problem in marketing your products so you are more likely to market all the products that you will be getting from your poultry products even the eggs the eggs can all be sold at some point in my country there are some times where we do run shortage of eggs where there is no eggs guys and the prices really shoot up meaning that the eggs can be sold anytime everywhere and it is marketable that is number one let's go to the crop farming the crop farming for instance let me say that you plant the maize initially the prices of the maize was 400 a kilo 400 ugandan shilling which was very very low but some two years ago the prices really shoot up up to 1800 ugandan shilling which was very high but as i speak or this year in my area the price of the maize is 500 ugandan shilling which means the prices have really really dropped down now let's say that you venture into crop farming with the intention of selling your maize at the price which was initially where it was 1800 but this year the price have really really dropped that means that the market has now dropped down and then it will be very hard for you to actually sell them because you have injected more money in actually plowing in renting the land buying the seed the labor costs the feeding and there are lots of actually costs that have gone in but the price have now dropped guys yeah the price have now dropped meaning that the market will be very very hard guys so guys in crop farming the prices are not the same the prices keep changing day and night today the price may be at 400 and then after two months it may rise up to 1000 again after one month it will drop down so the price is not constant the price keep the prices keep changing anytime so it is very very risky yeah it is very risky doing crop farming as a business or on a commercial scale but with poultry birds the price of the birds are rigid at times they may change but a slight change in price even the eggs like in my area the prices of the eggs a tray cost around 13,000 Ugandan shilling but two years ago it was 12,000 so you can see the slight increase of 1,000 in the eggs so with the prices they don't come downwards they only go upwards with the poultry products but with the crops no way there is no any rigid amount of a crop product like maize the prices change today it may be 400 tomorrow 500 the next day 300 so the prices keep changing in and out that is with the market of the products the next one guys is the weather yeah the weather the rainfall the sunshine these are all elements of weather so with crop farming it depends on the weather guys initially in my area over here the rain was supposed to come by march of every year the rain could come and then it will rain up to april and then you will experience a little bit of sunshine for one month plus some weeks and then after the rain will resume and then by november december the sunshine will again come back up to feb so that was the pattern of the rainfall but today nobody knows the pattern of the rainfall no one knows it and it is now very very hard for you to do the cultivation 
you may at some point make your garden very early hoping that the rain will come in March. Surprisingly, the rain may come in May. Then the garden which you have initially made it very clear, it would have grown bushy and then it needs again for you to remake it again. So you can see that it is very now hard to do crop farming because of the weather. The weather is now very, very different. And sometimes you may spend lots of money. I've seen it happening here in my area. You can spend most of money. You can spend lots of money in cultivating. And after cultivating, then the sunshine will come. The sunshine may shine up to a month and then your crops or the seeds will eventually get spoiled, meaning that they will not grow. So it is very risky when it comes to crop farming because the weather, guys, the weather is not okay. But with the poultry birds, whether there is sunshine, rainfall, it doesn't attack them in one way or the other. No, the birds are just fine in any weather, guys. Then another one is the labor cost. The cost that you will be spending in paying the workers. The workers that will be working for you. Because I know with anything, guys, even in poultry farming, you need some people who will help you in running your poultry business. So you need people who you can pay for them to help you in your business. So when it comes to this, with the crop farming, it needs very many people. If the land that you are cultivating is big, meaning that you will need to spend most or lots of money in paying the labor. Yeah, you need to spend most of your money in paying the labor and then it is very expensive, guys. But with the chicken, let me say you are having 1,000 birds. One person can look after these birds very perfect without any problem. The person can do any work. So guys, you can wear them when it comes to the labor cost, guys. That is with the labor. Another thing, guys, is the competition. Yeah, because in every business, guys, in every business which you want to do, you must first look at the competition in your area. How many people are doing the same business which you want to start? Yeah, how many people? You must first see how many people are doing the business before venturing into the business. Let's now come to the crop farming. Which family, for instance, in my country, do you think they don't grow crops. Very few families. Very few. But most of them, they do grow crops in their homes. Most of them. Now, if I'm to like start a commercial farming where I do plant maize, where will I sell the maize? And yet everybody in every home, they have maize. Of course, there is nowhere where I can sell the maize. Meaning that the prices of the maize will also be very low very very low so guys the competition matters a lot come now to the poultry birds the competition may be there right i don't deny but there are very many people that you can supply for instance the meat there are very many restaurants there are very many hotels where you can supply them with the meat much as there are very many people even keeping the chicken so it will be at least a little bit easy for you to market them perfectly so guys with this information i am now very sure that you can now make up your mind on which business you can go with as far as poultry and then crop farming is concerned yeah you can now make up your mind based on the information that i've given and then you can also do another research on these things otherwise if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel do me a favor please click that subscribe button and if you find the content that i was giving to you is very beneficial guys click that like button with that like button alone it really makes me very very happy do me a favor click that like button and then don't forget to turn on your bell notification that way you can never miss on any of my uploads when i upload them see you in my next video Bye-bye.